I chose things that represent Quebec, but they're not necessarily things that people eat on a regular basis, but they just kind of represent Quebec. And we have 12 snacks for you. Hi, culture eaters. How are you guys today? And I am here again with Ling Ling. Hello. From Lena Around. Yes. Today's video is going to be a little tasting video. We are going to try to taste some Quebec snacks. Well, I'm going to taste it. She has obviously had it many times before. Without further ado, let's get started on this little video. Ta -da! Let's start with some fish. We had tofu fish in China. Yeah. I have never had this before. I, I, uh -huh. I've had plenty of uh, smoked fish in my life, but this is a smoked jerky salmon. Yeah, I love salmon. Like Danish people eat a lot of salmon, so it's basically, it's really my favorite fish, so I'm excited. How about you go and serve yourself first? I will, thank you very much. Looks like this, guys. Big slices. Quite a big slice, yeah. It smells fishy. I would eat it as a snack. It's very, very salty. I like salty yeah, food. It's very salty. And I think it's a thumbs up for everybody. It is. Definitely. I'm happy. <laughs> do you like chips? I do like chips. We just had sour cream and onion. Quebec has this weird fixation with an odd flavor, in my opinion, of chips. Mm -hmm. And that's the one we are going to try. So for some reason, ketchup chips are really popular in Quebec. That's weird. I do like ketchup though. So you've never had ketchup chips before? I've never heard about them. Like, I th actually thought it would be red red. Some are. It does smell a little bit of ketchup. You gotta lick the red part, I think you'll get more of a flavor. Yeah. Maybe we should have gone for a different brand and had a bit more ketchup on it. Let me take the next one. Okay. Okay. I like chocolate. So what kind of chocolate is this? This kind of, this chocolate is a coffee crisp. It's a coffee crisp. It's a regular chocolate bar that you get in any a convenience store or supermarket. But it's only available in Canada. Like even the US does not have coffee crisps. Wow, the coffee just came out and smelled. <laughs> So let's try it. It's not bad. I feel like it reminds me of something I've had in Denmark. It's just really sweet. It's good chocolate. There's a crisp inside and like, there's a slight taste of coffee, but it's really not much. It's very subtle. She's going for the whole thing. <laughs> I'm really hungry. <laughs> All right, so we've just had some uh, sugar. How about we go back to some something salty? Yay! Something, uh, you know, Quebec is known for their cheeses. We have really, really excellent cheeses, and we're going to try one now called the Riopel. Would you like some Riopel? Which is yeah. the name of a famous Canadian painter. Oh, really? That's cool. This one, right? Mm hmm. It looks like the. It's like a creamy cheese. I love cheese. Mm -hmm. It's delicious, yeah. There's another good cheese. It's a really, really, really good cheese. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we need to eat more of that. Whew. That was like a food organ. <laughs> and I'm a little thirsty now. I feel like washing it down with something to drink. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. What do you have for me? <laughs> I have ice cider. Uh, certain grapes are left on the plants to freeze. And when they are frozen at a specific temperature, everybody gets up in the morning and goes to pick the grapes and they make a sweet wine with it. Oh. So it's a sweet aperitif or digestive wine. Santé. Santé. It's good. Yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> I like sweetness. Well, some are sickly sweet and this one is like mm. still a little bit tart. I'll go back to China to see if I can find it. Probably not. <laughs> Good luck. In case you're new to the channel, Ling Ling and I met in February where Ling Ling lives, which is Beijing, Beijing. China. Yay! 
And we made a Chinese snack tasting video series. Mm. A four parter. A mess. It was a mess. We had mess. so many snacks. We had so much fun. Yeah. So, of course, when she said she was coming to visit in Canada, in Quebec, I said we have to do a Quebec snack tasting video as well. And you know what's a big difference with our last snack tasting video? Mm -hmm. At least I know what everything actually is. That's true. Last time <laughs> we had no clue on, on most of them. Yeah, there were some snacks we didn't even know what it was. <laughs> we're going to try some dark chocolate with uh, blueberries inside, right? Yeah, um, it's very popular to have. Usually they're fresh blueberries in season. These are dried. That sounds pretty nice. We just talked about chocolate and I said usually I'm not a big fan of like dark chocolate, but you know, why not give it a try? I love blueberries. So. It's the best dark chocolate. <laughs> Did you know in Danish, it's uh, people say that when you say this word, it really shows how much we stick our tongue out when we talk. Oh. Right? Yeah, because uh, this is called chocolat. Chocolat. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's try it. Oh, it's just a blueberry, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. It's better when it's in season and they're like whole fresh blueberries. It's nice. If you like dark chocolate and blueberries, it's a very good match for you. I think that we should try this one because mm. I need to drink a little bit. I'm just so looking forward to seeing Ling Ling's reaction to this. So what is it? Can you tell us? It's a spruce beer. It's not an alcohol. Okay. It's a highly pressurized soda, but it's made with a spruce leaves from the spruce tree. No idea what the spruce is, but you guys know that I'm all in for Diet Coke. So yeah, I'm not positive about this. It's like a Christmas tree. It's one of the types of Christmas trees. Oh. So we're having Christmas tree soda. Well, there we go. Cheers. Cheers. That is a tree? Yeah, it's a little bit of evergreen. Yeah, it tastes a little bit of tree actually, <laughs> like after you said that. What was it called again? Spruce beer. Spruce beer. Yeah, deep in it. There's a business for everyone, guys. <laughs> business for everything. I, I'm going to plug myself, but I actually have a homemade spruce beer recipe on my blog from a few years ago. <laughs> there you go, guys. You should go and check it out. <laughs> but we should move on with the cheese. Yeah. What kind of cheese is it? It's called Hercule and yeah. it is aged for 24 months. Huh? We discovered today that Ling Ling does like uh, a very strong flavored cheese. Yes. <laughs> Which is weird because I'm so picky, but like strong cheese, I'm like, yeah! I basically violated the cheese's privacy. So whatever. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's strong flavored, but it's not that strong. Like, mm -hmm. on a piece of bread with butter, you guys would like it too. I think we should try this one because I've been quite excited. I like fish in general. And I like a uh, herring. And apparently here they also eat dried herring. And I don't really get that. <laughs> like Danish people love pickled herring. Do you want to know why we do that? <clears throat> why we dry and smoke? Because you live far out in the countryside and don't have a supermarket? <laughs> I think it goes more like when the people arrived in North America, they didn't have any preservation. It was a way of yeah. keeping food. Especially throughout winter. I don't know. Maybe the Vikings had something similar. I just don't know. It smells fishy. It smells very fishy. Don't kiss anyone after this. It's <laughs> more <laughs> <laughs> like a tree bark. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I'm a fan. I love this um, salty flavor. We're moving on to uh, the tea. I would do the tea, yeah, because I think the it must be cold by other now. liquid after the fish would be weird. <laughs> So this is something I've never had before, but uh, we are having cedar tree. So we had spruce beer, now we're having cedar tree. So it's literally just steeped branches of cedar. Yeah, I was like, why would you drink your Christmas tree? I don't get it, but you know, after Christmas, you don't want to know, you don't know what to do with your tree. So why not make it into tea? It's upcycling. There we go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's very vague. Like, yeah, it's subtle. Mm. But it's you get a bit fine. of a green flavor as well. I think I, 
Yeah, I would rather go for this one than green tea, to be honest. Yeah? No. Oh. That was the tree tea. Cedar tree. Cedar tree tea. <laughs> Cedar, Cedar tree, tree tea. tea. <laughs> so we're moving on to something that I'm a little nervous about. Oh. So this is duck rillette. So it's small pieces of uh, cooked um, duck. There's a bit of chicken and pork. And there's also a little bit of foie gras. Okay, we'll try to... Oh, oh my goodness. It's, it's like a spread that you would put on a piece of bread. Oh, it looks like liver pate actually. Yeah, it's very similar. Oh, there you go. Okay. It also looks a little bit like tuna or like the food for cats. <laughs> yes, I'm sneaking in cat food. <laughs> I could eat this on bread. Yeah. Yeah. It's just when she sells what is in it, that's when I'm like, oh, but now I'm like, okay, I could eat that again. Um, then here in the end, we have some syrup. Yes, we have some Quebec maple mm -hmm. syrup. Syrup. Uh, their local addiction. They have so many <laughs> varieties of this. Oh my God. Do you know what it is? It's the sap of the maple tree that they uh, drain a little bit out of the, out of the tr tree in mm -hmm. late winter, early spring. Oh. And then they uh, boil it down until it turns into a syrup because there's already a natural sugar in it. Chug it right off the bottle. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like super sweet. It's like, like syrup, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have a very uh, popular Quebec dessert called Pudding Chomar. It's like a cake and you pour about two cups of this stuff over the batter when you cook it so it makes its own syrup. Oh, wow. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching this video from the Canadian countryside. Yay! And yeah, we'll see you guys very, very soon. Ling Ling and Evelyn is out. See ya. Bye. And... Bye.